Hey there, Cricut and Design Space users. Matt Vassallo here with TheRhinestoneWorld.com. So do you have a bunch of different fonts and do designing in Design Space on your iPhone or iPad? Do you want to use all those fonts you get from different websites on your device? I'm going to show you how in this quick tutorial video to install all those fonts to your device. So I'm going to use an example from our website, TheRhinestoneWorld.com. And a lot of you may have one of these shadow fonts. So you're going to go into your account and you're going to go to my orders and you'll see the different downloads. Click on the order and then what you're going to do, this actual font that we're going to do here today actually has three different fonts within it, the Super Shadow. So I'm going to download Shadow 1 and then I'm going to come down, I'm going to download Shadow 2 and then I'm going to download Shadow 3. Now I'm doing this on my iPad, same process with your iPhone as well. Once you've actually downloaded those, what you're going to do is install this app. It's called iFont, and you can see it right up here at the top. Now, the iFont app is completely free. You can just find it in the Apple Store, in the App Store. And then, once you open the iFont, this is what you're going to see. So, at the very bottom, you're going to see Font Finder. I clicked on that and then I'm going to go to open files and you'll see those super shadow fonts that you just downloaded. Now we have to install each of these. So I clicked on the first one here and you can see in the bottom left corner it downloaded. I'm going to click on the second one and now the second one has downloaded. And then I'm going to click on the third one here and the third one is downloaded. Now we need to get these actually to the iPad or the iPhone. So I'm in the iFont software. I clicked on install on the left hand side right there and you can see profile is downloaded. Now you have to do this process with each one. So go to your settings tab on your iPhone or iPad now and then within your settings tab what you're going to see on the top left is profile downloaded. Click on that and you'll see Super Shadow 1. Enter your passcode just to verify that it's you. You're going to click install, install again, and then done. Now the first one is installed. So now we're going to do the second one and the third one. So I'm going to click install on the second one. Allow. Close that down. We can cancel out of that. Again, go back to your settings tab. The profile downloaded will be there again. Click on that. Click install. Type in your password and install again, install, and now that one is installed. Now we're going to install the third one. So this is a little bit different font because of it having three different versions, but it's like we're installing three fonts here. So I'm going through the exact same process here. Once on the iFont actual app, I hit install, back to settings again. Let's go ahead and profile downloaded. Click on that. We're going to click install, password again, install, and install. That's a lot of installing, right? Click done. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to head over to the Cricut Design Space software, open that up, and check this out. When I go down to text, I'm going to click on system, the one in the middle right there, not the Cricut fonts. I want the system fonts, and now I'm going to search for that shadow font. So I type in super. There's super shadow one, two, and three. Click on the first one, type it out, and our font is installed to design. It's pretty awesome and pretty easy, isn't it? So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to click that like button, comment below, and click that subscribe button. Now, if you want a second video on how to make a three color design like this right here within the Design Space software, whether you're on your PC, iPad, iPhone, comment below. Let me know if you want this second video, and I will show you with our special shadow fonts how you can make an amazing three color design just like this right here for the tumblers, for shirts, for whatever you want to do, and you're turning Design Space into an actual designing software. It's pretty awesome, isn't it? So again, comment below. Make sure to click that like button if this video helped you out. Make sure to subscribe if you want more videos and thanks for watching.